What is the difference between the, 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 the Chinese Confucianism and the Japanese Confucianism? Okay, Chinese because Confucianism, the big difference is Chinese Confucianism is always I. Okay, they don't think about a uh, different person. I, I am. Okay, and Japanese Confucianism is always we. Much more uh, emphasis. Okay, just uh, each sentence, uh, the each exactly the sentence. This is uh, just I told you. This, 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 uh, what? This, the script, imperial script is uh, exactly the same as uh, the same description of Chinese Confucianism, nothing different. But right. the concept is much more emphasized on group. All right, but okay. I, I don't know much about uh, Confucianism, but I, I do understand that there is a very strong concept of altruism. So that is, altruism is basically yes, putting yes. the but interest of the group. Chinese are never thinking about that. They have <laughs> lots of lacing, laces, lots of different people in in the big China, and they never try to unify concepts they don't have. Not unify. Their concept is always invasion. Right? Well, they try to invade next village, village. They try to invade next next state, next country. And finally, they, they invade all country. Kind of concept Chinese has. This is basic, basic their culture. Japanese, not, not like culture, not, not invade. Just Japanese is united, combine, get together. So different yeah. concept. So Confucianism, the sentence is the same. Sentences are the same, but understanding approach is different. So, 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 so like uh, Japanese people uh, try to read Confucianism is Japanese way. This is very different. Mm -hmm. Like for example, uh, Confucius said, uh, "Small man and woman is bad." They have the kind of sentences. Uh, Confucius write this sentence right, and small man and the woman is uh, bad but uh, Japanese uh, many co uh, Confucianism uh, uh, studying people and, the, uh, and uh, they said the woman is not only not ordinary woman they think uh, that woman is uh, some uh, kind of sort of bad woman they they try to understand but the Chinese uh, Confucianism studying people no woman is every woman Okay, not a spe specific bad woman. Bad guy and woman is they are bad. It's the original Chinese people thinking about. They are much more, uh, uh, you know, just uh, uh, un how to understand the Confucianism content is different from Japanese. Japanese always thinking more uh, honest, more polite, more like uh, kind of gentleman uploads more coordinated, communicated, and uh, collectivism. The sort of approach Japanese people try to change the contents of Confucianism. But, but which one good, which one bad, I don't say. But the Japanese is uh, like uh, Japan, the before World War II, he, they try to organize Asian countries. But true meaning, they try to make an effort to do that. Manchuria is also, they try true meaning good point and bad point of course military was bad things a lot of bad things they did but through meeting manchuria they tried to coordinate each race this is original uh, country building people they saw ishara country saw that you yeah, purely mind but uh, many bad people is involved in that organization and military activity so now is uh, uh, everybody decide manchuria is so bad but good point they had also bad point they had also, Southeast Asia's Japanese invasion is actually invaded, or are many people thinking about how to coordinate, how to organize. This is the basic Confucianism uh, concept we have. So, before Edo era is completely this kind of thinking is uh, embedded into soldiers. And getting to Meiji era is the Fukuzawa Yuguchi discarded everything. That I understand why he discarded everything. Because Japan was not be invaded by the overseas country, so they try to get more power, get more money, and more more, more military, you know, equipment. So they focus on uh, knowledge, skill, and power instead of values. 
This is Meiji era. So this is, but Meiji emperor still, but uh, he he uh, he's very educated person. So he he that he did not discard Confucianism. He just only he himself tried to uh, summarize imperial rest script on education. This is exactly Confucianism, just the essence of Confucianism. So this is a continuum at the before World War II, right? Mm. Well, but he, that this sentence, brief sentence, at school everywhere, every day, morning children recite this sentence. What is, you try to respect your parent, you are to coordinate your friend, you are following your boss, you are working good, working for your company, and how to stabilize your country. This is the only way, and cultivate self, and the family happy, and the world is stable. So this sort of sort of Confucianism based concept they continue 150 years. Okay, most important is family. Cultivate self for cultivate self. If you cannot do well, work well with your wife, nothing happens. Like now is in Japan is every company say family? No kidding. Business first. No 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 no. Before World War II, family first. You were you were you were doing work well with your wife. Your business never success, and before World War II, and major emperor said that. This is that this is Japanese spirit. Now is we lost Japanese spirit, right? And in the era, two hundred fifty years, we try to do try to educate kind of values, most important values, mental attitude instead of money. That's the reason why merchant is lowest class at the era. Money is lowest class. More highest yeah. class is value, righteousness. You you need to think what is the best thing. You need to consider your country, how to save, secure your country. This is a, a Confucianism. They just uh, talk about. That will get into Meiji era, but uh, Meiji emperor is they try to influence imperial script on education until the before World War II. So, so that's the reason why Edo era is so peaceful. Okay, no strife. If they're going to uh, chase money, and the country will never sustain 250 years. Don't emphasize on money. Edo era much more emphasize on the spirit. But there was a dual reality in that era, right? So that you had the Eastern, Eastern Japan, Edo, and you had Western Japan. And Western Japan was actually not allowed to, but was actually engaging in trade and, and foreign relations. That's uh, right, different countries. Especially Kyushu, they had lots of relations with, with that, China, I understand. So they were actually more under the, I, I would estimate or, or expect that they were more influenced by Chinese culture than uh, Eastern part. Not, they were really not, not, isolated. Not, not the Chinese culture, uh, not culture. They, they they try to deal in business. Mm. Satsuma dealing business with China, uh, Ryukyu, they uh, accumulate their asset money to prepare against central uh, regime. Mm. Last resort, last part of the Edo era. Osaka people is much more concerned about money, right? But Tokyo is uh, like a structure of education structure. They much more emphasize on virtue, virtue and right. value. How about Kyoto? Kyoto is uh, uh, this is the emperor's location, right? And uh, it's kind of a city of the emperor's supporters people. Uh, I I don't know how to say you just. Uh, try to check uh, the emperor supporters people but actually don't uh, uh emperor supporters were f for example in satsuma okay the they were city okay the city of kutia kutia city yeah Ku yeah uh, my pronunciation wrong yeah Kutia. well it's it's uh, uh maybe from french yeah you can you can pronounce it this way from from french and, and i think the uh, like uh, the, the other way saying uh court noble yes city of court noble 
but the, the supporters of the emperor were, were actually mainly people from from Satsuma because uh, no 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 Kyoto is a court of a uh, court of noble people living there no noble people noble people but Satsuma people try to get power uh, uh, beat Edo Baku so they try to get emperor for them right right but the Satsuma and the Choshu, uh, they are not so much uh, knowledgeable compared with Edo Baku. Edo Baku is more uh, kind of uh, noble and established people. Mm. So uh, getting the Meiji era, kind of value, righteousness, benevolence gone because of the uh, uh, center of Edo Meiji era's people is came from Mas Satsuma Choshu. They don't have so much noble people. This kind of people will continue until now. C kind of <laughs> Japanese government of people is uh, a pol a politician. Right? Yeah, politician is come from southern part of Japan. A politician. Yeah, yeah, that is uh, not very educated. Edo people, Edo people, back people, very very educated, very you know knowledgeable people, and uh, established people. But uh, Choshu Satsuma is not, not very educated. It's kind of barbarian people. Come to, uh, with working with the emperor, come down to Meiji era. They build the country. But actually, they just build the country, Meiji era. They try to get uh, big overseas you know, power. They try, they wanted to get the power and money. Right? Not the value, not the morale. So this is different kind of person, dominant uh, Meiji era. This is not the same people. What? And this kind of people what? continue until now. What does the role of the, of the samurai in the Edo era, and especially in the Western part of Japan? Uh, because basically there was no war going on. So how did they maintain themselves? And what what kind of official position did they uh, did they have uh, for for those two hundred fifty years? Because they, basically there was no war going on. Were they being paid from taxes, or or how how did they manage to sustain their lives? Oh, of course, they uh, Edo Baku structure is uh, they delegated responsibility for local local area. So uh, Daimyo has their own you know power and collect tax. Instead, the Edo Bakufu order them to come into down to Tokyo uh, every year or every other year, I, I don't know, but uh, yeah. uh, frequently back and forth. They ask them to spend money and also they force them to uh, like uh, rebuild Edo Castle or kind of uh, task force put them to do that. And also they ordered additional investment for the public, you know, public uh, investment, and try try to avoid they can they're going to accumulate their money. Right, but that's the daimyo. But I'm, I'm I'm more talking about the foot soldiers, the the, the actual samurai. How, how did they manage to? Oh, to uh, samurai is after uh, get into the Tokuga era. They just uh, samurai is. Uh, lower classes getting very poor but mm. uh, samurai the uh, force them instead of a battle they force them to to study confucianism mm. so, so if, if we if, if we actually trace their history back so what what how did they evolve? so that they were soldiers right and they they were forced to study and then what was their role in the Meiji era and how, how, did, how actually is there a connection between the military and the samurai or not at all? Well, where no, did, no, not at all. Especially where can we, where not, can we find the, the ancestors, today's ancestors uh, of the samurai? Not at all, <laughs> gone. Not at all. Central position occupied by southern part of uh, uh, Samurai, southern part of Samurai, Choshu, Hagi, Satsuma, those people come down to the Tokyo, they got every position. Some people, uh, some people get the higher position, but a few. Mm. 
And in the back of samurai is everybody gone. Mm. So big, big, so Meiji restoration, restoration. 180 <coughs> degrees turn around. So it's a, it's a total reset. Uh, besides that, actually, okay, the the the, the uh, basically the, the society is turned upside down, and when we want to trace back uh, today's Japan, we do not need to look further back than Meiji Restoration because uh, there are not direct lines between. Um, um, between current Japan and uh, Edo era, or or or, or, or even before. Mm -hmm. Because they had uh, uh, many people, uh, Edo Edo Baku soldiers, very high position people. They got uh, title, mm. title position, status. Mm. Very few people, status, mm. but not so many. You understand, right? Status means right. Yeah, yeah. So, but in English, uh, say, yeah. do you I'm, know I'm the peerage? Peerage, noble title, peerage. noble title. Mm. Very few, few soldiers, high ranking soldiers get. Uh, uh, noble title. Right. But the other soldiers is just just this is they uh they gone. They they got money from uh Tokunabaku. That's all kind of money has gone. Mm. Right. But um uh so like if, for example if we look at who occupied the top positions in the military who occupies the top position? Okay, this is uh, Satsuma Choshu. Satsuma Choshu people. Ah, not all of But they, those, they are those are people, the... those are people, they are not noble people. Kind of barbarian people. Right. And they, they are the... the but okay, so but the... don't misunderstand that. And mm -hmm. Kyushu area, or those area, but at that time, they they are very famous school existed. Even barbarian compared with central government and local government, this is a, a ranking getting lower. But still, famous school uh, that existed. Like currently, we so called Lisimekan is a famous university, right? At Kyushu, the Which kind Lisimekan, Lisimekan, and Shoyukan, famous school existed for more than 100 years, 200 years, mm. okay? Of course they had, but uh, central government, much more uh, prestige they had. But major restoration, every position occupied by southern part of people, not the back people. Mm. And how about Choshu? Actually, contemporary Choshu, is that around the Fukushima area or where is no, that? No, no, Choshu is... Uh, Southern part of Yamaguchi Prefecture. 